It's time to hit the road, but there is not enough room for your family, friends, and your boards. Well, here's one option to consider. Stick around, and we're going to talk about the Thule Pulse Alpine Roof Box. Too many boards? Not enough room? Maybe a bit of both? If so, then you're strapping your boards on your roof with some rope that you knotted together. And it sounds something like this. Or you can purchase something like the Thule Pulse Alpine Roof Box. First off, what is it? Well, it's a hard plastic roof box that sits on the top of your car. According to Thule, it's rugged, durable, easy to install with a secure locking and mounting system. Here are the dimensions. Okay, let's talk function, and there is a lot to cover here. So we're gonna start with the good. First, it fits all my boards under six and a half feet. You heard that right, under six and a half feet. And not only does it fit my boards, but if I pack correctly without fins, it'll fit all of my gear. But if I'm lazy and I don't wanna remove my fins, it'll still fit at least two to three boards. It's low profile. I can still pull into my garage a Taco Bell drive through or most parking garages with this thing on top. Because it's so low profile, it has minimal impact on gas mileage, and it really is easy on, easy off, with only four clips that mount it securely to my racks. Okay, the not so good. I made the mistake of loading the front of the box, and I definitely heard it on the first 30 minutes of my drive. I had to pull over and redisperse the weight evenly. There's no other way to say it, but there is a trunk bump. I have this mounted all the way forward on my 4Runner, and the trunk will still not open all the way. Something to watch out for and check your compatibility guide. Here's a pro tip. If you do run into a trunk bump like I did with my 4Runner, I just toss a towel up there in between the trunk and the box, and I haven't had any issues. This roof box includes water seals, which means there's minimal leakage where your clamps connect to your roof rack. However, after repeated use, I will say one is starting to peel off, so just something to note. Even though it's low profile, this sucker is big, so where the heck do you store it? Lucky for me, I found a little bit of space in the corner of my garage, but if I was to buy this again, I would purchase the pulley system that Thule sells with this roof box. The locking system. I've seen some reviews where people complain about the key breaking off inside the lock. I haven't had that experience at all. It's been great, secure, and works every time. But when you pack, you want to make sure there's nothing blocking the inserts where the lid closes on the bottom. If so, it can prevent you from being able to lock the box entirely. Just something to watch out for. Okay, what about style? This thing looks really good. Low profile for sure. I know boxy racks are all the rage right now, especially on 4Runners, but this thing is slim and sexy and sleek. It looks good. Okay, finally, value. Thule has this listed for $549. Is it worth it? Well, that's up to you in your situation, but for me, 100%. I can bring my surf gear on any road trip we want without sacrificing space or comfort. Absolutely worth it. Okay, that's it for today's Express Session. Questions or comments? Leave it below. Have a product you want us to review? Tell us in the water. Otherwise, don't forget to support the channel, like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. We'll see you out there. <laughs>